Hello, welcome. I'm Ethan. If you like my channel, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Today, let's talk about why did Hermann Göring want to be shot instead of hanged? There were a couple of reasons actually. Soldiers were shot and criminals were hanged. In the schedule for executions, Göring was scheduled to be first. The executioner was Master Surgeon John Woods. In fact, Woods had no document pre-war experience as Woods at that time was a private and a member of 37th Engineer Combat Battalion. He was promoted to Master Surgeon and transferred to Paris Disciplinary Training Center. Woods performed as the primary executioner in the handing of 34 U.S. soldiers at various locations in France over 1944 to 1945 and assisted in at least three others. U.S. Army reports suggest that Woods participated in at least 11 bungled hangings of U.S. soldiers between 1944 and 1946. Some reports indicated some executions took from 14 to 28 minutes. The army denied claims that the drop length was too short or that the condemned died from strangulation instead of a broken neck. Additionally, the trapdoor was too small such that several of the condemned suffered bleeding head injuries when they hit the sides of the trapdoor while dropping through. We do not know if Göring knew about the reputation of Woods. He has notched several executions before the Nuremberg defendants, but it is entirely possible he did and would not want to be subject to a prolonged death at the hands of an incompetent hangman, two hours before his turn, former German Air Force Chief Hermann Göring killed himself with a vial of potassium cyanide that had been smuggled into his cell. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, remember to subscribe to support me. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.